Can you MIG weld in the rain or when it's wet? We all know that water and electricity are not best friends. But for welders, sometimes work must be done, even in a state of hazardous weather. Welding requires a multitude of safety precautions on its own, and that is before you add rain, humidity, and lightning into the equation. Can you MIG weld in the rain? Although there are no legal regulations regarding welding in wet conditions, one must take precautions. With around 30 to 50 volts of electricity being deadly to humans and MIG welding creating about 15 to 500 volts, the safety risks and chances of being shocked are high. Your safety should be the top priority. You may assume that gentle forms of moisture might be safe, however, this assumption would be wrong. Use this quick read to understand the risks involved, why you must stay dry, and how to protect yourself when you have to MIG weld in the rain. Can you MIG weld in the rain? Legally speaking, yes, you can MIG weld in the rain. Even though welding in the rain is legal, that does not mean it is a good idea. We recommend avoiding welding in the rain altogether, unless absolutely necessary. The dangers of MIG welding in wet conditions. Damage or ruin the machinery and tools you are working with. Make it difficult to weld and reach the temperature requirement of that material you are welding. Decrease your finished product's quality. Result in a brittle effect. However, these mean nothing in comparison to your safety. The dangers and risks while you are welding in the rain include but are not limited to. Rainwater is a better conductor than filtered water. Water is not a friend of electricity, we all know this. But rainwater is especially dangerous. Distilled water offers electrical conduction of zero, while rainwater brings impurities and small organisms that increase the iron content of the water. This can cause a rain-soaked body to become the closing end on a circuit, i.e., electrocution. The risk of lightning. Where there is rain, there is often thunder and lightning. While the thunder is not inherently dangerous, lightning is. While working with electricity and using metal welding tools, the last interference you want is a strike of electrons discharging across your body. If you have a pacemaker or any kind of metal plate or pin from past surgeries, you especially should avoid welding in the rain. When you should avoid welding. You may think that rainstorms are the only welding fear you need to have when it comes to water. However, there is more to fear than just a drizzle. It is not only direct rain contact but rather any form of moisture that can increase your risks of being shocked. If you are, standing in a puddle of water. Working with wet hands. Working with sweaty hands. Working in intensely humid conditions. Final verdict. Postpone the job. If your employer wants you to risk your life, say no. If they are forcing you to do so, they do not care about your safety or well-being. You can find another job, but you cannot find another life. In order to help you to learn more about welding, we've put together awesome information for you that we want to share with you. Are you going to WeldingTroop.com and there you can see all articles about welding.